Hey everybody, it's Wani to McDowell with In Motion Real Estate Institute. Today I want to show you how to create a form in Word. We have a form that we provide to our clients that allows them to request our classes. And it's a nice form, but what it doesn't do, it doesn't allow the user to really have a, a, a clean user experience. So for an example, the class requested, there are several classes that we offer um, over nine. And so now the person would have to go to the catalog and find the courses, and then they'd have to tab over and type whatever class that they want. And we can give them a better user experience than that. In addition, offering a, let's say, asking a question like projection screen available, when we tab over, if, we, if the user clicks an X, it basically does away with the options that are already in place. So they'd have to do a little bit more to fill an X in the appropriate box. So we're going to do a little bit, uh, a little creation, form creation here. I'm going to show you what it's going to end up looking like. It's going to end up looking like this, where the user actually has the ability now, with class requested, to actually select. They're going to get to choose an item, and then a drop-down box appears, so they can actually choose from the classes that are listed here. So let's see, how do you actually do that? Well, I have a little document already set up. I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take in order to do that. First, you're going to go and click on the Microsoft Office button, and you're going to click on Word Options. Make sure that popular is selected. And you're going to click on show developer tab in the ribbon. And you're going to say OK. Now you have a new tab you didn't have before, which is the developer tab. Before we actually go to that tab, let's go ahead and look at our table layout. And we're going to go ahead and select this table because there may be another design that we want. And of course, when I selected the table, I get a new option table tools and I'm going to click design and I just happen to like this particular blue light shading accent one so I'm going to select it alrighty now I'm going to go to my developer tab and I'm ready to go alright so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the user the option of typing in their name in doing that I'm going to come up here under the controls group and I'm going to click the text box. For the community, again, it's text. So I'll use the same exact feature. Now, for class requested, because we have several options, I'm going to use something different. I'm going to use what's called the drop down box, and that's the option right there. Now, I'm going to click a different box here. In fact, I'm going to click properties. And now I have the option of adding the courses that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Add. And let's just get a couple of these in here. We do FHA. I'm just going to shorten the titles a little bit. Add. How to maintain your credit score. That class is actually how to improve and maintain. So, okay. And then I'm going to add maximum marketing, minimum dollars, one of my favorite classes to teach, and one more, marketing online using Twitter, Trulia, and Facebook. You get the idea. Now, choose an item. I can actually uh, delete that if I want to, to remove it. And if I think the maximum marketing minimum dollars needs to move up the chain, I can do that. And then I'll say OK. And now, for the date requested, there's a different feature under controls, and that's the date picker. So I'm going to click that. And now the user will be able to click the drop down, and the actual month will appear, and they can choose the date from there. Directions to the community would be another text box and so forth. Type of location. And all these things we can do pretty easily. Now you can see projector screen available. Uh, that would be a drop down. Drawing a given away, drawing or giveaway would be a drop down. And the community contact person, these will be text boxes. So whenever you have 
an option available. This would be a yes or no. You go to properties again and just add yes or no. And it's just that easy. So now you have a form in Word. I hope this tip helps you. Please feel free to comment and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.